today we have another instalment in the self-powered diesel heater project. Uh, we're going to go, this isn't it by the way, we're going to go outside in the cold and frosty weather and run it and test it as obviously it's going, it works better when it's cold because the tags can get cold, cooled by the cold air better when it's cold obviously. So we're going to test it outside, we're going to run it, uh, have it charge its uh, battery, I'm going to plug in a USB load tester, is it here? Uh, it's lying about here somewhere. USB load tester, uh, test the load, see what kind of amps it uh, outputs and see what it does. But uh, we've been doing, we did a little bit of fuel tuning today before we did the full filming and it's, it's running well, it just it just keeps right, it just goes, you just turn it on and away it goes, it generates power and it uh, keeps running. So let's go outside and see that. Right, we are outside in the uh, very cold Scottish uh, morning. Is it one degree at the moment? Uh, this is the new, probably, final version, or this will be its final version at this stage. I don't think I keep saying that in every video, it'll be a final version. Well, this is the final, all in one, complete version. So inside there is a little battery that obviously for starting and finishing and then the rest of the time it runs powered by its own tags and outputs about an amp in usable power for charging things except our cheap uh, Amazon or eBay uh, USB thing gave up the ghost yesterday during charging so can't test the actual output of the USB but the new display shows uh, when it's a positive amp reading that's power that it's using and when it's a negative amp reading that's uh, you know energy the tags are generating to charge the battery the battery inside is well I've, we've deliberately not charged it to capacity so that it's going to be well taking a charge off the uh, genesun it is well it's not the wrong battery it's the wrong battery for the genesun it's an agm cell thing uh, which is supposed to be charged like 14.8 volts and the genesun that's for dumb lead acids so it doesn't quite charge up to max power but it does the thing and we will see the current doing the thing and i just need to turn it on so turn it on it to mains see the display light up battery is currently at 12.42 volts i'm just waiting for the arduino to do its booty thing Right, so it is now ready to run. Uh, well, hopefully we did all the tuning yesterday and it should just now fire straight up. So here we go. I'm going to try and zoom in on the current meter thing. There we go, so 12 amps is starting, obviously the glow plug's running. Oh, she's a little smoky this morning, it's probably doing it because it's a, on a cold fuel start. Right, not that you can see that anyway, never mind, right. So the glow plug has gone off. That's now the, the motor power that the one amp is. I mean, it's lit, it's running. It's, it's just, uh, it'll now come up to temperature. And we'll zoom you back in once it's going the other way. Well, that's it doing its thing. Oh, I forgot to put the silencer in. I'm using a genuine Wabasto sound. Which makes it much, much quieter. What have we got in tags? Tags have just crossed into 50 degrees.
Uh, I can hear it, it's now fueling up. If you can see the power consumption's dipping away down as the tags get nearer real generating rather than the heater consuming. Tags a hundred degrees. That's the cooling fan running now, so that's why it's consuming more power again. But it's making warm air out the end of the heater itself. One twenty. I've actually just realised I didn't make sure there was uh, actually more diesel in it. Let me just check that there's actually still some diesel in it. Oh, there's not a lot of diesel in there. Hold on. I forgot we were running it yesterday. And we ran it for... It's only got a little teeny tiny uh, diesel tank. Put some more in. There, that's better. So the tags are at one, they're about to cross into 180. So we should. So, you can see the power now, if I zoom you in. So that's it now, putting... Oh, that's a lot of zoom, David. Well, I don't know how well you can see on the camera. The frame rate's not the best, it's, it's pulsing up to an amp. But we've still crossed over into the... We've got the temperature set, so it should be running the tags about 210 to maybe 220. But at the moment, it's charging the battery. So it's charging the battery, and we've got a nice hot air output. It's still come up a bit yet, we're still just across in the 200s. Oh, did I mention it was cold? I'm going to hazard a guess that the fluctuating current reading is from the Genesun trying to do the MPPT thing where it can try and see how much load it can get out of the, uh, the tank cells about which voltage, that's basically what MPPT is, it's the voltage and current that a system can pull to stay active. So I will let that run for a little while and I'll bring you back once it's set at a more stable temperature. Right, let's do some te temperatures. So currently it's minus two. We'll call the intake temperature just minus two. And output. Let's hover about here somewhere. Not that you can see, but I'll just have to take my word for it. 
Oh, we've got 90, we'll move about. 80, oh, that's trying to put it inside. 100, 105, 110, 110 degrees output here. And we're, well, anywhere between a half and 0 0.7 amps. And that's it, we've been running now for I don't know how long. And it'll just keep doing that, that's it, it'll just be. No, oh, final half will be self powering. Hey, yeah, never thought it. What temperature is the ice? It is freezing, final enough. It's minus a half down here. Minus two. Bye. Swap my thing back over. So yeah, the uh, self-powered diesel here, it's uh, totally a thing. So I have plugged in my USB tester into the slightly working USB ports. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in and get everything in shot. Because currently the USB load tester is pulling one amp by itself. I don't know if you can see the screen because I can't see my phone screen. But that's pulling an amp and that's still making 0 0.02 so it's still running that and charging the battery so we're making more than an amp well I try switching to two amps let's spit over two amps okay now it's oh it's still not as it's, it's only just that's a two amp low well 1.8 amps and it's still holding yeah, that's good. That's one point. That's one point eight amps yeah, yeah. solid output. Yeah, that's nice. Four point eight eight three volts on the five volt supply and one point eight four zero three amps, and consuming no power. <laughs> if it just pings right up to. I went up to 0.8, yeah, 0.9, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So, it will output about 2 amps then. And run the heater. So, that's nearly the 4 amps that we had water cooled. Oh, that's warm. <laughs> not roasting, but the, the things are warm. It's a yeah. nice hand warmer. <laughs> a nice hand warmer. <laughs> well, I'm impressed with that, that's, yeah. So, yeah, I think the battery isn't uh, absorbing what it's kicking out, is it? Yeah, because obviously the Jenna Sun's only going to tickle that. Because we're, well, 12.8, I suppose that's probably what it wants to be sitting at. Her. Yeah, 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 that's all it's pulling now. Well, that's why, it's, that's all it's pulling, yeah. It's the Jenna Sun's actually deciding how much Powers in the battery, yeah, yeah. but obviously we've seen it does two amps. So, yeah. see everything defrosting on the floor. Everyone's, me everyone's melting. <laughs> That's good. How long has it been running? It's like five minutes of. The ground is all wet. Everything is defrosting. How about decibel? Yeah. Right. So sound meter. The noisy birds tweeting are confusing it. Well, there's me talking, it's nearly 80 decibels. Shh. And that's not bad for a metre away, 60 decibels, that's barely louder than whispering. What's the standard heater? Yeah, it's still sitting there doing that. Yeah. And charging the battery a little bit. That's impressive. Yeah. Mm, good. That's good. Good, good, good. Well, 
Shut it down then? Yeah, well, yeah. Do, 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 do. And then the glow plug voltage climbs. Well, well, what, what can I say? That was, that, that, that it works. I, it, re it really, really works. I'm pleasantly surprised. Bruh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I'm, we've come to an end. We've, we've actually, we've, well, mostly other David, to be fair, uh, has, has done the thing. He's, he's made a self-powered diesel heater. Like, it could go, well, not perhaps this version, but I think he's going to build another version in his van, then that's, it's going to be doing that. It's going to be powering, no, not powering the van, but providing heat to heat the van and not have to worry about the batteries going flat during the night because it'll just keep the batteries charged and topped up. Uh, so I would like to say a few words of thanks for the start of, well, just to the folk out there have helped along the way with this project. Uh, first of all would be uh, Andrew, Andrew out there who helped us with the, the shower project and they've got the very first board for that and it kind of all spiralled out of control from there on different boards and controlling things and all that sort of thing. And Simon as well who designed the Webaster Uh he, well, that's the board that's running inside the self-powered diesel heater doing its controlling. Uh, he helped with uh, the code and the board obviously for that and there's been a few other people along the way and I'm, I'm very sorry I can't remember your names off the top of my head but you've helped a lot of snippets of code here and there and doing things and fixing solving problems and it's all uh, culminated in this self-powering diesel heater that doesn't cost like five to ten thousand pounds for a thing but if people are going to ask in the comments where they can buy one or how they can order one I, I, I don't really know what to tell you so I've been online and I've priced having a burn chamber 3D printed I'm looking, I'm looking around just now to see if I have a demonstration burn chamber so because at the moment it's in two pieces but you could have the whole burn chamber and the bit for the tags 3D printed in aluminium for about 1,500 odd pounds, so 1,500 pounds would get you a one piece aluminium thing that you just need to machine for tags and fit all the other bits to. And all the other bits are off the shelf parts, you can just order them and bolt them on, there's not any weird and wonderful, spooky, spectacular, handmade, handcrafted things. That's the beauty of it. After that bit, you can pretty much just bolt on all the bits, either control it by a Webastardo board, Webastardo board or the as yet other unnamed board that oh I am terrible with names I am a terrible terrible person I, I can I can see his post I can see his github profile in my head I just cannot get a name he's designing a board as well that's going to be a universal board board that's going to run on air heaters water heaters all sorts of things use all sorts of kinds of sensors and temperature sensors and wonderful magic and hopefully we'll have that at some point as well and we'll try more wonderful things using that but yeah so there is the possibility you could build your own uh, self-powered diesel here if you order a burn not a burn chamber no, the housing housing heat exchanger and the tags and all other bits you could do the exact same thing but it does work it proves the point that you can use heat from the burning diesel in tags to generate enough power to run a diesel heater and charge a battery and keep the heater running. No, I don't think it's possible to use the waste exhaust gas because although it's hot, it's not as hot as the temperature that's right at the core of the burn chamber. That's where we're getting our most densest heat. And the problem is once it's been round the heat exchanger and now coming to exhaust, it's now significantly cooler and significantly less dense as well. So. While you would get a little bit of energy recovered that way, you wouldn't get the amount we need to charge and run the whole thing together. If anyone has any other comments or questions, there is a Facebook group for this and other all the other weird and wonderful diesel heater modifications that everyone else is working on. I'll leave a link to that down below. And if anyone else has any comments, questions, etc, etc, leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them or pass them to someone else who can answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.